Hey, it's Chris here. Wanted to give you a quick update on the state of the app. So I think we're really, really close. We're just working out some uh, some of the bugs, which I'll point out for you. Uh, so this is a fresh launch of the app. This is the uh, the onboarding sequence. Please note that we do have you know some little um, graphical uh, glitches still to work out. So as you see, that dimmed screen is not uh, full screen, which will will work out. So we have our three-step onboarding process like I've showed you before. Uh, what we've added is this little notice here that um, this is a sample profile. So when they look at this, this is not a real profile, right? Um, some of the things which we need to work out are um, right now tapping on these or tapping and holding on these don't pop up the tooltip for the dummy profile which you know we want to show people what this metric is about when they tap and hold onto it the other thing is that videos aren't showing up uh it's more actually it's more like in the data that comes back we haven't handled the video case just yet so we're gonna find a way to handle that gracefully uh and yeah so this is the unlogged in state so people are going to launch the app go through that three step you know, a little mini tutorial, they're going to be able to play around with the sample profile. We added this because we um, sent this to our team to test and they were confused when after they went through that three step onboarding process and they got dropped here, they were confused as to what this was. There's like a lot of information here. And I, I sort of agree. If more people give us that feedback, we might just do three step onboarding and then like direct to call to action to log in. But right now, as it stands, you get to play around with the profile a little bit and then it tells you to click on the list tab to log in. So when you come here, uh, we'll have instructions as to you know what you have to do. Go ahead and click log in and then let me go ahead and log in. All right, so it's gonna let me log in and because I've selected you know which Instagram account I wanted to use already, um, that's already all set up. Oops, oh man. I canceled the sign in process accidentally. Okay, so I'm gonna hit continue as Chris Ching. It's gonna come in. Again, this is one of those visual glitches. We definitely want this to be full screen blue. Uh, we're gonna click not now. And we've also decided, just in the interest of time, um, we are gonna ignore premium now. So we're not even gonna bring that up. We're not gonna talk about that and we're gonna launch it without premium. So it'll be no monetization. Then we'll add it in a next update. So this screen probably won't make it into the launch. Okay, so they're gonna see this feed. You're not following anyone yet. Um, then they're gonna add someone like, for example, myself, or maybe I'll just do, maybe I'll do Apple, just switch it up. Okay, so there's Apple and we've styled the screen a little bit. You can see the tabs still need a little bit of work in terms of um, how they look. We have the blue dot, but the blue dot's half cut off and the icon is touching the edge there. And when they tap into Apple, they can see some of Apple's stats right there. Uh, when you tap that, you can bring up that. Again, the dim screen is not fully uh, to the edges. And uh, yeah, the setting screen, we don't really have much here except the logout and this premium stuff. We're going to hide this tab altogether. So that's how the app looks right now. I'd say like we're really close to just launching um, and things will become a lot clearer, a lot more clear after we launch, right? After people start using it in the app store um, and giving us feedback, I think a lot of the guesswork that we've done will confirm or, or deny, you know, we might have to rework some things. Maybe the flow isn't, um, isn't intuitive, uh, something like that. So we'll, we'll figure it out, but I really want to get this to launch first. Um, that way we can work on some of the marketing stuff. Um, and we can also work on some of the feedback that comes back and we'll definitely, I, definitely want to monetize the app just so I can get some experience with um, what that is like. Um, put the revenue cat stuff into production. Um, that would be good. I'm really looking forward to that. Um, and I also already have some ideas for the next apps that I want to do. So I'm 
you know, this experience, this case study has been really good in the sense that it's sort of opened the floodgates for my imagination. Now I want to build more apps and we're going to continue doing these case studies so that you can sort of get a behind the scenes real look at um, what this process is like. And as we do it more, I think uh, the process is going to get more refined, right? We're going to understand uh, how best to do it. And I'll update the product framework with our process as it solidifies. Anyways, hope you're enjoying it so far. Thanks for um, being a supporter. Thanks for watching and following along. I'll see you in the next video.